I don't ordinarily consider myself a motivational coach or speaker, but I've had the opportunity this past week to have the potential transformation chat with several folks that I work with. In the 1999 film, The Matrix, Morpheus tells Neo, you take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you just how deep the rabbit hole goes. Michelangelo's philosophy about sculpture, the idea here is locked inside. All you have to do is remove the excess stone. So the subject here is potential. We hear a lot about potential. This athlete or that student has a lot of potential. As if spoken by Michelangelo, who can see within a person what he or she does not themselves perceive. Some of us in the coaching profession find ourselves in the Morpheus role, that of offering a red pill to individuals whose life experiences are not living up to earlier expectations. They want something that for some reason they don't believe they can have. Happiness, money, fulfilling relationships, productive working teams. I believe we all have our shopping lists. Michelangelo's block of stone with the angel inside and Morpheus's blue pill choice are all mnemonics for being and staying encased in less than productive perceptions of ourselves. Our knower-judger concept of who we are, how we fit in our world, what we can and can't do, how far we can and can't go in life, is based on what we've learned. It's encased in our block of knowledge. Why wouldn't any Neo choose the red pill and unlock his whole potential? Or why can't we chip away the shapeless rock of our current form to present to the world the beautiful angel within? Comfort zone. It's said that naivete is bliss. Sometimes I think we don't want to know how deep the rabbit hole goes. It can be scary. I think we often like to bitch about not being able to accomplish this or that. Sometimes we may even take responsibility for it. I can't play golf. And sometimes we wrap ourselves in victimhood and blame some outside factor. My parents couldn't afford golf lessons for me. But I believe transformation can occur when we personally chip away at that chunk of stone we are today, based on all our knowledge and training and self-perception, swallow the red pill and begin to see the angel or the golfer or whatever's not quite working for us materialize. What do you want? It's in there. I would love for you to grab your chisel and your red pill and go to work on it. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.